Hello and welcome to Wandering Wanda. I'm Ariel. We're gonna do something a little different. I just realized something when we checked in here to... I don't even know where we are. Does it say on here? Fort Steel RV Resort that I did not really pick this. So it's not really fair to do an RV park impressions of what I think this RV park is because it's not one of my choosing. It's part of the tour. Uh, I would give you an impression about it though. Everything is dirt. So I'm not really too thrilled about that. But you know what? We're in the middle of BC. When you step out the door here, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. Okay. So... Would I stay here again, yes or no? They have full hookups, but the hookups is uh, 30 amp. They do have water and sewer, so that's a good thing. I like, I like that hookup part. But the whole park is dirt. And you know what, for overnight, I would recommend this. So for overnight, it would be a yes. I would stay here overnight again, only because they have full hookups. And we're gonna walk outside. We're gonna walk to the dinner in a barn or barn setting. And we're gonna have some sort of nachos with ground beef, Mexican style in a bag. I don't know. I, I don't know what they're talking about. Some kind of camping food. So we're gonna do that in a couple of minutes. I'll take you along as far as the barn door but again I do want to respect the rest of the group's privacy so I may not be I will not be filming group activities only because again to respect other people's privacy and also I'm here to have a good time with other people we, we like chit chatting right chit 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 okay let's go outside Oh, they made it! Yay! Yay! You made it! Made it! Okay, this is our view. The Rocky Mountains. Isn't this gorgeous? Now we have to go around. Everyone's parked now. Love the smell of the pine. We're liking that. This is what I mean by it's dirt. It's not even crushed gravel. It's just crushed gravel dirt. This is pretty. Rocky Mountains with four-legged things. What are those? Hello. Uh, we're on a tour to Alaska and a Yukon back around so Calgary tomorrow and then kind of Yukon, Alaska and back. So, wow, that's amazing. Could be fun. What an adventure. Okay, four legged things, mules, donkeys. Again, beautiful, majestic views. Really nice. Opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> no. 
Canada. This is um okay. Oh, oh no 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 there. Okay, good morning from Canada. This is what I woke up to, the Rocky Mountains. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm still learning this camera. Hopefully the volume is working. I have not checked the volume yet. So this park again, it's got full hookups. It's got a row of 50 amps. What we have in our site is a 30 amp. However, I am cheating a little bit. And I did get this from I Love RVing. There, he's a YouTube channel from the south. I have a dog bone. That is a 30 amp and it also plugs into the 20 amp. So it's kind of cheating because I have a 50 amp rig. <laughs> so I'm getting more power than the park doesn't know about. There, I know they do sell a plug that's 220 amps. I haven't found it yet, but once I do, I'm going to get like two of them. Because I know up here in Canada, there's not always a um, 30 amp plug. And I think one of some of the campsites that we're going to is only 20 amp. So, <laughs> a, it, it is a nice park. I didn't notice this the other night. They do have a little bit of pea gravel. And even though we're on a slope here, oh, again, full hookups right here. Even though we're in a slope right here, it goes down, our site is actually leveled. I did not have to level it the other night. And again, waking up to the Rocky Mountains this morning, absolutely gorgeous. I don't know what the amenities are. The amenities are in that building over there. I'm assuming they have restroom showers, possibly a laundry room. There is a gas station over there that will accommodate big rigs. And we're across the street from that heritage museum. So would I stay here overnight again? It's a definite yes. All right, for today, they are encouraging us, well, they've essentially told us that we have to drain all of our gray and black water and he would like us to fill our fresh water. I'm not going to do that. Only because I'm near capacity as far as weight goes. So I'm only going to fill it maybe one third of the way up. Because the next park, it's not even a park we're going to. It's a, a stadium parking lot that has provided us with water and electric and no sewer. So for the next three nights 
three. We're not gonna have sewer. And Walter and I are going to use the stadium shower facilities to take a shower in. This is a new experience. And then after that, we are in Banff, village number two, which I don't understand this because I made reservations there and I need to double check this. We're at Banff coming back for, I think, five nights. And I have complete hookups. Sewer, water, and electric. I, did, I even think it's 30 amp. But the campsites or RV sites that they booked us in has no sewer. So for three nights after our th three nights, we're not going to have sewer again. So that's six, that's almost, that's six nights without sewer. So I'm, <laughs> I, I, you know, I need my sewer, I, I need my showers. Well, that's the state we're in currently. We're gonna see how this RVing goes and see how Wanda actually holds up, or we do. <laughs> All else fails, we'll just check into a Marriott chain or a Hilton chain all right so that's how day one of caravanning went this is day two of caravanning and hopefully I love all these RV people they just sweep okay this is day two of caravanning and hopefully this all works out again if not we may be canceling our trip for next year Hopefully not. This is a new experience, so we'll tough it out. Thank you for watching. Bye.